Praise be to Jesus. Hello everyone, here are your most recent Catholic news briefs. In a historic decision, India's Supreme Court has ruled that gay sex is no longer a criminal offense. The court has now ruled discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation is a fundamental violation of rights. Cardinal Donald World of Washington on Thursday recognized calls for new leadership in the Archdiocese, including from local priests, but did not say whether he was considering stepping down. Quote, among the many observations was that the Archdiocese would be well served by new leadership to help move beyond the current confusion, disappointment, and unity he said in the letter. A priest with multiple allegations of sexual abuse dating back decades has returned to active ministry, even though a legal case against him is now in court. The Diocese of Buffalo, which reinstated Father Dennis Ritter this June to St. Elizabeth Van Seton Parish in Dunkirk, has now been sued by one of Ritter's alleged victims, Matthew Golden. The diocese maintains that decades-old allegations against Ritter were unsubstantiated, but Golden's lawsuit filed August 30th cites one case which was documented, documented in 1992. Prosecutors question Roman Catholic Bishop Emeritus Juan Barros as part of an investigation into sex abuse allegations against a former Chilean military chaplain. Argentine authorities raided a Catholic-run school for youth with hearing disabilities Thursday as part of an investigation into alleged sexual abuse of vulnerable children that has shocked Pope Francis's homeland. The Nebraska Attorney General has asked the state's three Roman Catholic dioceses for information on sexual abuse and other misconduct, and all three dioceses have said they will cooperate with the request. Christian Geyer, writing for the German national newspaper FAZ, is questioning Pope Francis's silence on the Vigano allegations. Quote, Shall the sexual violence about which people were silent for years now truly again be officially answered with silence? What a mockery of the victims. Unquote. For Geyer, quote, this homily is not difficult to understand as a theological attempt at exalting the papal appro approach not to speak a single word concerning allegations of cover-up of abusers. Geyer noted that Francis only, quote, breaks the silence in order to preach about the silence of God, unquote. And I'd like to make a point here. Um, the Pope plays the victim, the persecuted one, in equating himself with Christ before Pilate. For the Pope to hide behind Christ is nothing less than mocking Jesus, I think. Oh, and by the way, Pope Francis, Jesus did speak before Pilate. Among the words he spoke were, quote, my kingdom is not of this world, unquote. So why is Pope Francis trying so hard to make Catholicism accepted by the world when our church is to be Christ's reflection on earth? And those are your most recent news updates, and uh, we'll talk to you later in the day. Bye.